for me, um, you know, at first I had no idea what BPM is. I had no idea what the key meant. I had no idea what a lot of this stuff. A uh, buddy of mine, DJ XL, big ups to him. Salute to you, brother. DJ XL, we would be in a booth at the bar and he would give me the rundown on any and everything that I had a question on. Uh, basically beat matching is key to uh dj and, and uh you know some beats don't match but if you're a good dj you know you know how to match those beats and blend the uh next song which is you know another thing that i'm still working on uh, a lot of djs don't use the sync button i do because it's you know it helps me out it it helps me actually go back and play a song without using the sync button because now i'm like okay they're matching it up you know sometimes they, they'll match the beat up for me sometimes i can just do it myself but uh when you get a bpm that's like um i want to say uh, let's just say i got a bpm at like 104 and then there's another one at like 67 it's it's a totally different outcome of the song unless you just are the best beat matcher in the world you know what i mean anything is possible you can actually match and beat match any of any music out there but for me you know it gets difficult because sound wise so like i'll hear maybe like i'll hear probably like first couple seconds of the song and i know if it's slow then i know i can't i can't put on let's say for instance i can't play um, I don't think I would be able to mix like uh, what song am I looking for? I probably wouldn't be able to mix. This is how we do it with. Uh, I don't know why. Why, can, why am I going speechless right now? I probably wouldn't be able to mix like this is how we do it with uh, um, with a uh. With the slow jam. Thank you. Thank you for helping me out there because I got stuck. I probably wouldn't be able to mix that. You know what I mean? Just because, like I said, I use sync and it helps me out a lot. And um, there's a big, huge difference. There's a big, huge sound difference in all music, you know, and it's just about matching your BPM. So, like, your, uh, say for instance, my, uh, my tempo slider here like it will max out if i got a bpm that's probably at like 90 and i scroll down to speed it up to match a song that's at 110 this will max out before i'm able to even match it to that so that's why i use my sync to match it and i listen to it and it'll sync with it it might not sound right at first but it'll sync with it enough and it gives me enough time to blend it to where i can actually take the song that i'm blending back to its original tempo and it gets tricky like you know like i said like larry said you know sometimes we get song we get requests and they completely do not match the uh the tempo that i'm already at that i'm set at once i start a stream they completely don't match but there's always a way around it you know any good dj can take any song and mix it together and like i said that's another thing that i'm working on right now i'm using the sync button so you know a lot of people don't use it there's a lot of djs out here that do use it i see videos on a uh, youtube all, all the time and it's like oh don't use the sync they just thrash the sync button uh, if you're not if 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 you really want to be a good dj you need to not use the sync button and i look at, I look at it i'm using my sync button I don't care what y'all talk. I'm using my sync button until I feel comfortable enough to match to beat match any song. I'm gonna use my sync button. So, can yeah. You, is there any way that you can play something for them to where they can hear two songs playing yeah. without you hitting the sync button? Yeah. You hit the sync button to show them. Yeah. Let me see what I got here. So, I'm gonna take sync off and I'm gonna put this at its regular tempo, which is '90s love. And 90s love regular regular tempo starts at 108. Okay. And then I'm going to. Would you want to ask him a question on the mic? Oh. You might want to watch your ears.
Can y'all hear me? My bad. I was asking him questions outside of the mic. My question was, I wanted him to give you guys an example of the power of the sync button because this is what's been helping me as he's teaching me to DJ. And I'll never forget one time you were outside taking a break and I was I couldn't find anything with the sync button. Like I was just like, oh no. And I ended up just hitting start stop. I mean, but. it helps a lot. You know what I mean? If you if if you're somewhere and you want to get people into it and get them going. I mean, there's nothing wrong in my, and this is just my opinion. There's nothing wrong with using it. But like right. I said, the sync button is bashed, highly bashed. If you check, if you get on YouTube and look, sync button is highly bashed. But DJ Tezzy uses it, so whatever. we will. And my question to him was, we wanted to show you guys the power of the sync button. So he's gonna play, you know, a song at a certain tempo, and then show you how the sync button will drop it and match it. And it's just a huge help when someone's DJing. So uh, once again, I got uh, I got '90s love queued up, and I don't have anything on sync right now. It's just I got '90s love. It's at a 108 uh, BPM, and then I got Punch NCT at a 91 BPM. So uh, what I normally do is like I, I put my headphones on, and whether I'm starting from the beginning or from the top, I'll just let it play. Now, now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just go ahead and set a loop and let that beginning play. And I set it at an eight count. Boom. So why this 90s love over here is looping? I'm going to throw in NCT punch without matching it with my tone, with my tempo slider or without hitting the sync button. And I want you to listen to what it sounds like. Doesn't match at all, right? No. All right. Doesn't doesn't match at all. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this beginning of this NCT play. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to use my sync yet. I'm just going to see if I can get to that get as close to that 108 tempo as I can get. So with my tempo being at 91 right now, if I slide it down, and there's probably another way around this. This is just how I know it. Once I slide it down, as far as I can go to get this to 108, it only drops to 98.2. So what I can do is I can slow down the... Uh, the 90s love I'm here on my left side see where I can slow it down to and I got it dropped down to about 99 so let's see if that matches see how we do with that you can hear the difference now let's slow down it's right there you know what I mean that's that's without me sinking it It's right there. It'll still match. It'll still once when you get close enough to match the beat, it'll still come out okay. But it doesn't come out right on it. Now for me, when I use that sing button, it, it's dead on. And I'm gonna show you what it sounds like here with me using the sync button. I'm gonna put my tempos back at where they were, 108 and 91. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, NCT punch and I'm just gonna sync it up. So now both of my um, both of my songs are at the same BPM. And I know 90s Love is a little bit faster than uh, Punch. So I'm actually going to sync them together and drop it down to 99. I just want you guys to hear how this sound when it comes in. I mean, it, 
it, it went perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, for it's, me, <laughs> sync is sync is sync. You know what I mean? If I want my music to match and I know that I can't really keep up with that beat by doing it manually, I'm going to use my sync button because I want everybody to feel that. I want them to feel that transition coming in. I want them to feel that next song in. And that's why I, that's why I mess around. And, and that's, you know, everything that, that, all the knowledge that I'm giving you now is just stuff that I've learned from just watching YouTube and, and uh, linking up with a great DJ, DJ XL. You know what I mean? Like, if there's a, if there's a beat that I know that I cannot manually mix, I'm going to use my sync button. You know what I mean? Because I want my, I want, I want my crowd, I want my viewers to be like, "Oh, you do you hear that coming in? Why wouldn't I? You know what I mean? Why wouldn't they? Why, if I'm, if I wasn't allowed to use this button, it would not be here. It's here for a reason. Use it as a DJ if you're, if you're DJing, especially if you've only been DJing for two days, two months, one year. You know what I mean? It's there for a reason. Practice without using it. By all means, because I do that, I'll pra- I'll sit and practice without using it. You know what I mean. And some of my some of my mixes that I might sit and record sound fire without using it. But I want them to sound fire fire when I'm streaming live, and I'll u- I'm going to use it. You know what I'm saying.